That's right, my friends. Today is all about the best relationship advice. I know that's crazy for a Motivational Monday post because my whole goal is to pretty much teach you how to make money online, but also get your mind right. So why did I choose, you know, this topic, relationship advice for today? Well, I will tell you. So first off, if I'm honest, I fought so hard with this one. Um, and usually people like me who, who do this for a living, we always do reverse engineering, but we also have to take into account the message that we are trying to get out there. And the relationship part was super big. So a lot of people are out there looking for relationship advice. But on top of that, in this line of what I'm doing, the relationship or your relationship with yourself and other things is so important. Now, let me explain. So first off, I want to encourage you to love you and to do everything that you can to help you grow. Because as I always say, if your mindset is not right, <laughs> your paycheck, your income, the money, no matter the amount, it will never be right. So I'm here to help you get this right so that you can get this right, right? Okay, so first off, um, there are several ways that we can approach this, but no matter what, whatever relationship you want to look at, it doesn't matter. For me, I like to look at it from how can I become more successful today than I was yesterday, right? And in order for me to be able to do that, I have to have the right relationship with different things in my life. So today I want to show you or help you get an idea of how you can begin to get a better relationship with you. Because if you're not treating yourself right, <laughs> then that means that the stuff that you're going to look forward to in the future may not be there. Um, because of the relationship you have with yourself now. So let's put it this way. If you think about relationships, what is the first thought or image that comes to your mind? Now, is it positive or negative? That is so important because however you visualize relationships, that is how your relationship with you more likely than not is, right? So what we have to do is flip. If your idea of relationships is negative, then we have to flip that. Because until that is flipped, then you won't see the results that you want. And if you look at the results in your life now, they are really based on the relationship that you have with yourself. And let me go a little bit deeper. So we as people, have a set of patterns that we adhere to. And I never forget. So I talk with different people. I will leave them nameless, of course, but they would talk about different people in their lives and how they do things and they don't necessarily like the things. I'm like, well, hey, here's the deal. That person just has a set of patterns that they have not found a way to deal with. And a lot of us, people can give us advice, but it's hard for us to take advice for problems that we don't think we have. Ouch, right? <laughs> but in a lot of cases, we have to recognize the problems before we can fix them. So what happens with all of us is that we are working with different sets of patterns. A lot of people in the personal development field, especially Bob Proctor, one of my favorites, he calls it the paradigm. And if you do not change your paradigm or your pattern of thinking, what happens is you keep getting the same results. So not all patterns or ways of thinking are not good or wrong, but there are some that we either need to tweak or replace completely. For example, there are a lot of people who have an interesting relationship with poverty, right? <laughs> That's a crazy one. There are people who have an interesting relationship with crazy. I mean, there are a lot of things with comfort, you have to analyze your personal relationship with those things, or even with money, instead of saying poverty with money, what is their relationship with money? 
Do you think, oh, I can't buy that because that's too expensive. Oh, oh, I'll never be able to get that house because I can't afford it. Thinking like that will cause you to not be able to do that. Oh, I can't start that business because now is not the time. Well, when's going to be the right time? It may never be the right time. Or if you want to do this with an actual relationship with someone else, you can to kind of make this more realistic for you. Oh, I can't be in a relationship right now because I'm not ready. If now's the time, when will the time be, right? So here's the deal. In all honesty, I believe that we have to take an honest look at ourselves. I had to take an honest look at Danise Boyd, right? So that I could kind of dig deep and open up those things, those relationships that I had with myself and those things that I said were important to me. And honestly, as I began to look at them and started changing my pattern around those things, and those things started changing for me in my life physically, my results <laughs> began to change. So what I want to encourage you to do is to look at the patterns in your life. What are the patterns? What are the results you're getting? And if you look at the results, you can see the patterns, point blank. You can see the patterns. And I suggest that you actually write down, and I'm sure I tell you this all the time, write down the results you've been given and then write down the patterns that you see could be a cause of those results because results don't lie. <laughs> results don't lie, like two plus two is four. Numbers don't lie, just like results don't lie. You can't add two and five and think you're gonna have six. <laughs> it's just not going to happen, right? So just make sure that you take an honest look at you. So the next thing, a lot of us have things that we have not actually done that we were actually created to do. Now, here's the thing. Sometimes we get caught in the wrong patterns. And we, when we are in those wrong patterns, what happened is we are not able to fulfill that purpose. And a lot of times we like to blame things, people, the devil, whoever you want to blame for a while we haven't done what we were supposed to do. But in a lot of cases, we were practicing the wrong patterns. So I want you to decide today that you are not going to continue to keep going through the same patterns in life that are causing you the results that you, my friend, do not want. Now, the next thing that is important for you to know is that those patterns that you are in, this may sound scary or a bit unnerving, but they have control over you. Because patterns are like habits. There's something you do habitually. And if there is something that you are doing habitually in your life, that means you're doing it without even thinking about it. Kind of crazy, kind of scary, right? So if you are doing these things without even thinking about them, then they are controlling you. But they don't have to control you. And here's the deal. You, my friend, have a decision because today is all about you and your relationship with you, you have decision. You can decide that you are going to take you back because you deserve you. And if you're like me, I always say, I love me some me. And I, I mean that, like I truly love me some me and I will do anything to make sure that I am a better me than I was the day before. And like I said before, that's exactly what I want for you. So how do you begin to have the right relationship with yourself? Well, first off, you have to be in control of your thoughts um, because your thoughts are pretty much what kind of, it can give you an idea of where your patterns are. So once you start to control your thoughts, then what happens is you begin to change the shift of the pattern which is what you want, right? So when someone is cleaning a dirty carpet, at first, you may not even be able to tell it's dirty if it's brown or even if it's like beige, you probably can't even tell it's dirty until someone starts to come and clean it. 
And that's when they start to see that there's filth. So you may not even feel like anything is wrong with your way of thinking. But once you look at some of the results in your life and your patterns of thinking, then you will realize that, hey, I have to control my thoughts. Almost like standing there, imagine, literally, imagine two men or women, whoever, people, standing at your mind like guards. What are things that you think they would want to keep out of your mind? What, literally, what are those things that should not be there? Like, or think about it this way. What are some things, if you're a mom, what are some things that you would not want to be in the mind of your kids? Think about it. If they shouldn't have it, maybe you shouldn't have it because as the saying goes, what's good for the goose is good for the gander, right? The second thing about your patterns is to not change the outward things. Like for a lot of people in relationships, they feel like, oh, if I get more money, my life will be better. Yeah, it would be better, but if your mind is the same, technically it won't be, <laughs> right? Yeah, you have more money to do the things, but if your mind is the same as it was, then you will be doing the same things. And especially if you have a poverty mindset, you will be back down to where you were before you even got that extra money. So don't try to change things outwardly. Honestly and earnestly try to change things within you. When you change the world around you changes and there's no way, no way around it. And the last thing I want you to do is to figure out where your strength is. Where are you strong? And the reason I want you to figure out where you're strong at is because I also want you to figure out where you are weak at. Because where you are weak means that's not where you need to be. That is where your patterns are holding you back or causing you the results that you don't want in your life. And where you are strong at, that's where those are the patterns that you need to duplicate or create more of so that you can have the results um, from your strengths. Because if we keep following those patterns that keep leading us to the things that we don't want, our weaknesses, then that's what we're going to keep getting. And our strengths in a lot of cases can't save us from our weaknesses. Only we, our choices, our patterns, the way we think can keep us from falling down into you know the trap of those weaknesses because that's what they are and my friend if you truly want to be successful this is where it starts all day i promise you once you start this everything in your life is going to change not just your relationship with small things but the relationships that you have with people your kids your significant other your spouse whoever your business your job the people at your job it will change and people will see that difference in you but it's not super important that they see it it's more important that you see it because when you see it everyone else is going to have to see it there's no way that they can deny it right going to get rid of those old patterns and you are going to replace those patterns of weaknesses of your weaknesses with patterns of your strengths because if you do not do that your strengths cannot outweigh your weaknesses like i said they can't do it on their own you have to make that decision and like we always say, life is choice driven. But beyond that, life is what well, choices are thought driven. So life is choice driven, but choices are thought driven. So fix those thoughts, put them on your strengths and not on your weaknesses. I noticed this with me. I would always find myself in situations where I would say, oh, I can't do that. I can't do this, I'm not strong enough, I'm not smart enough, I'm not thin enough, I'm not cute enough, you know, whatever I thought. And that would hold me back from things in my life. And uh, <laughs> I had to cut that out, like literally, because when you do that, you're holding yourself back. So that is the strongest thing that a lot of us have been dealing with. We have been dealing with the fact that our relationship with the things in our lives and the patterns in our minds have been causing us to even talk down on ourselves. And why would anyone else think more highly of us than we think of ourselves? That's food for thought. Chew on that. <laughs> Anywho, go out there this week 
and show yourself that you can be a better you because you deserve it. And not just you, the people you care for deserve it. Your future you deserves it. She is on the other end of this right here. On the other end, just waiting, waiting on you to get on the other side of this because there's so much in store for you. I know it because a lot of us, at least 95% of us, are living beneath our purpose. We are we are living beneath what we are capable of doing. And because I know that you are capable of more, I want you to work on your thought patterns. Work on that. And like if you have to start off with just how you think about you, because who said you were those things? Why? <laughs> and if you put that on yourself, get rid of it. And if someone else has... You can get rid of that too, because a lot of the things that we think of about ourselves are things that we have heard before, right? And those are things that we have to literally rework. And you all, this is not going to be an overnight thing, I promise, but it will work if you work at it. Thanks so much for watching. And as I always say, stay peaceful, positive, and productive. I'll see you next time.